Now, our, our president, Obama, recently gave some executive orders. He backed down from some of them. Because on Monday afternoon, a Republican Texas representative, Steve Stockman, said he would file articles of impeachment. If he extended too many gun infringement rights on the people of the United States. He backed down. A lot of those infringement rights will go before our federal legislatures, and we need to tell them no, no. In Missouri, we need the Second Amendment Preservation Act. The bill is in the legislature right now, and I heard Speaker Tim Jones on the radio this morning. He is going to move that on the fast track. We will not obey orders to invade and subjugate any state that asserts its sovereignty. We will not obey any order to blockade American cities, thus turning them into giant concentration camps. Here's a big one. We will not obey any order to force American citizens into any form of detention camps under any pretext. For all you Christians out there, Luke 22, 36, and this is when Jesus was about to be arrested and taken away. Then he said unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his scrip. And he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. Jesus Christ told you to go without a coat and a coat to have a weapon. So you better think about that. The Lord himself said you better get you a sword and you better sell your garment in order to get one. Claire McCaskill is the worst thing that ever happened to this state. So I'm going to do a little cheerleader chant, okay? I want you to all join me. I got spirit. Yes, I do. I got spirit. How about you? <laughs> You're supposed to say it back louder. Come on now. Right. I got spirit. Yes, I do. I got spirit. How about you? for letting me be silly. I want you to join me right now. There is one thing this nation was founded on, and that was God. And he has not left us. I'm tired of people saying, how can he possibly bless this nation? He already has blessed this nation. And we haven't all forsaken him. Without further ado, Lori Beasley. Hello. I'm not usually, you know, my husband, when he tells me I can say something and come out here and speak, I was like, oh, are you, are you sure? I'm a, I'm a submissive wife. Okay. What does that mean? Thou shalt not covet? Don't want what someone else has. Right. Is that what our government's doing now, right? Yeah. They want what you got. Yeah. But, you know, I don't want to lose my compassion. What is it, the Muslim Brotherhood? now can have an AR, but you can't? That's it, that's the sign. Muslim Brotherhood can have an AR, but you cannot have an AR. I call that treason. I, I'm sorry, I'm really opinionated. To hear the serpent's tongue. I hear the serpent's tongue lately. Come. It sounds like Obama. Say, I'll give you this. I'll give you this. All you have to do. You don't want to bow down and worship Obama. Not if he's taking everything away from you. It doesn't come from him anyway. It doesn't come from the government. Who is the creator? God. Unalienable rights. Did you hear that in the speech? Yeah. Last week. He used it. Pull yourself out of the trance. Turn off the boot tube. Quit watching Honey Boo Boo at Sports Center. And realize that you are at the edge of a total T 
tyranny, total collapse scenario, FEMA coffins, this, this is about to get sick. You better be ready. Everybody in this room, I mean, out here, you better be ready. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, you know, the guys that are supporting our rights, you know, uh, Casey Guernsey introduced uh, uh, Senate House Bill 170. That's a bill that's going to protect our rights from the federal government and tell them no. Question is, are you going to be a criminal if that's where it comes to? We elected a veto-proof majority on both houses in this building right here to defend our Second Amendment rights. We replaced a lot of rhino committee people in this state with liberty-loving, constitution-loving officers. We're right-wing extremists, but we're right and they're wrong. And that's the end of the question. I told them, my gun's not for hunting. Believe me, I do not have a hunting rifle in my collection. There's a small minority out there that's spinning the wheels. It's making us look like uh, we're a bunch of fruitcakes because we want an AR-15 or an SKS or a Glock pistol. I got them all. I've got them all too. And believe me, I told Mr. Blunt and I told Claire McGunskill that my gun is for one thing and one thing only. When my government gets out of hand, I'm coming to take it back. Yeah. Now, is that, is that subversive? Yeah. You're damn right it's subversive. And why shouldn't it be? I have the right to say that. This is my country. I've been talking with uh, Representative Casey Guernsey. Uh, he, he's the one that introduced uh, House Bill 170. He, he would like to get rallies set up so that during the uh, while they're discussing in the committees discussing House Bill 170 that we could have a presence in the Capitol.